In this video, we take a look at one of the latest cars with Gran Turismo 7, the beautiful Maserati Mirac SS80. And just as we start to make our way around the beautiful Sardegna road course, I'd ask if you guys could hit the thumbs up button and that subscribe button, I really would appreciate it. And don't worry, that's the last time we'll have to see my ugly mug during this video. But, as we're on the video, let's get going. And as usual, the first thing I'll comment on is the noise. That beautiful mid-mounted engine. If any of you guys do have headphones, I suggest you wear them when you watch this video because that engine just sounds superb. And next up, the handling, or certainly the cornering, and... To be fair, it's not that bad. I mean, okay, it's not modern day sports car standards, but you need to remember, this thing is four decades old. And, like I said, it's not bad. Yes, it wallows around a little bit, and it understeers quite badly, which isn't normally a characteristic of mid-engine cars. It's more your front engine that do that. But that doesn't mean you can get complacent with this thing. You can't. It may understeer, but if you get too leery on the old low pedal, that back end will step out on you. And talking of surprising things, the brakes are actually quite surprising. And not necessarily in a bad way, I mean, they're not bad. For a car, like I said, four decades old, they're not bad, they'll stop you. But they're not up to modern day car standards. And that leads me nicely on to this point, that um, should this car even be in Gran Turismo 7? Yes, it's a beautiful car. It sounds nice, it looks great, but it's not really necessary. It's never going to have its own race series. Most players are never going to use this car, which is a shame, but that's just the way it is. It's kind of unnecessary. It means that Polyphony is spending time putting things in the game that people don't necessarily really want. I mean, don't get me wrong, like I said, it's a lovely car. If you want it in your collection, I would highly recommend going out and buying it. It's not a massive amount of credits. Go out, buy it, use it, have a little bit of fun with it. But then, like a lot of the cars in Gran Turismo, you're just going to put it back into your in-car garage, it's going to collect dust, and you're never going to use it again. Which is a shame, because I did enjoy driving it. The handling, a little bit vague, but the nostalgia, the noise was well worth it but it's not a Gran Turismo 7 worthy car unfortunately for more great videos like this one follow this link thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video